Justin Bieber and BTS are reportedly preparing to enter the studio together. The pop superstars are said to be working on a track to feature on a deluxe expanded edition of Bieber's recent album Justice. Justin Bieber talks about starting in BTS. They said the song could be part of a deluxe release of Justice to keep the album on the charts. A deluxe edition of Justice would be the second such release, Justice Triple Chucks Deluxe which featured collaborations with Lil Uzi Vert, Jaden Smith, Quavo, DaBaby, and Tori Kelly. BTS have also named Bieber as an influence in past interviews, while Bieber indicated mutual fandom when he lip-synced to a chant of the BTS members' names on TikTok. The collaboration would also come after a significant merger between HYBE, the label of BTS formerly known as Big Hit Entertainment, with Ithaca Holdings, the company of Bieber's manager Scooter Braun. As part of the deal, Braun, who also manages Ariana Grande among others, will now sit on the board of HYBE, while his business partner Scott Borchetta will remain CEO of the Big Machine label, formerly home to Taylor Swift. Big Hit announced its rebranding as HYBE last month in an attempt to become a music-based entertainment lifestyle company. This special episode of the American TV sitcom that lasted for 10 years from 1994 to 2004 will air on the 27th, and for that particular episode, BTS will appear as a guest alongside Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, and David Beckham. The rest of the guest lineup includes James Corden, Cindy Crawford, Cara Delevingne, Elliot Good, Kit Harrington, Larry Hankin, Mindy Kaling, Thomas Lennon, Christina Pickles, Tom Selleck, James Michael Tyler, Maggie Wheeler, Reese Witherspoon, and Malala Yousafzai. BTS never hid their affection for the sitcom in several interviews before. For instance, RM, who speaks fluent English, once said that his English teacher was friends. I have no overseas experience, but I studied English through Friends DVD that my parents bought me when I was young," he said when he appeared on The Ellen Show. The sitcom Friends revolves around six friends in their 20s and 30s who live in Manhattan, New York City. This upcoming reunion special episode will star all six casts. Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt Leblon, Matthew Perry, and David Schwimmer. Moreover, the original production staff Kevin Bright, Marta Kaufman, and David Crane teamed up once again for the special reunion. The cast members were reported to have bagged $2.5 million for the special episode, making headlines. The long-awaited Friends cast reunion will be broadcast on May 27th and will feature a slew of celebrity guests including Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, and K-pop band BTS. Friends, The Reunion, featuring all six of the original cast, was originally supposed to have been filmed more than a year ago but was repeatedly delayed by the coronavirus pandemic. Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, Courtney Cox, David Schwimmer, Matt LeBlanc, and Matthew Perry living in New York. Friends, which ended its 10-year run on NBC television in 2004, was one of the most popular TV shows of the 1990s and found a new life on streaming platforms where it is one of the most watched shows worldwide. News of the broadcast date for the reunion quickly became the top trending item worldwide on Twitter. The one with us finally getting together, quipped Kudrow on Instagram. Cox said she felt blessed to have reunited with my friends, and it was better than ever. They said more than 15 celebrity guests would also take part, including former Friends cast member Tom Selleck, Richard, and Maggie Wheeler, Janice, and others such as British soccer star David Beckham, Game of Thrones actor Kit Harington, and Pakistan's Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai. A pop bomb is about to blast. Get ready to hear this from powerful music giants. It's a dream for believers as well as the army. A collaboration between two musical titans would sound surprising. However, that dream is about to become a reality. Justin Bieber and K-pop superstars BTS are collaborating on a new song, as per the latest buzz. They are taking their time on it and going to make sure it is released right. According to a Page Six source, 
the forthcoming collaboration track will be part of Belieber's latest number one Billboard 200 album, Justice Deluxe Edition. Surprisingly, the Beliebers and ARMY are unsurprised by this massive alliance. They think this power pack merger between Justin Bieber and BTS is a result of record labels. Earlier this month, BTS record label HYBE, formerly known as Big Hit Entertainment, had bought Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings for USD1. ARMY already knows that Jungkook always shares Bieber's popular tunes like 2U and 10,000 Hours. Even Justin wished Jungkook on his birthday in 2019. BTS, Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, and more will be featured on the upcoming Friends reunion special with the original cast of the beloved 90s sitcom HBO Max announced. Other A-listers who will make guest appearances in the special include David Beckham, James Corden, Cindy Crawford, Cara Delevingne, Elliot Good, Kit Harrington, Larry Hankin, Mindy Kaling, Thomas Lennon, Christina Pickles, Tom Selleck, James Michael Tyler, Maggie Wheeler, Reese Witherspoon, and Malala Yousafzai. What's the price tag for keeping a roster of global superstars happy these days? For Hype Corp, more than $230 million, the value of shares the South Korean music juggernaut has pledged to BTS. Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber, in addition to more than $100 million, the K-pop sensation has earned from music sales and touring. The shares, which Hybe says are for inspiring morale, have almost doubled since the Seoul-based company went public in October as Big Hit Entertainment. Big Hit, which was founded by billionaire Bang Shai Hyuk, set a precedent for offering equity to the seven members of the boy band powerhouse that is now valued at more than $107 million. That puts the band's total take as a Hybe group at more than $214 million, including $107 million of pre-tax earnings Forbes estimates the group has earned since 2018 when they blew up on the global music scene. For Bang, who has a net worth of $2.8 billion, it's money well spent. BTS represented 87% of the KRW $290 billion, $260 million, Hybe reported for the first half of 2020. That reliance on one group is a key reason for Hybe's $105 billion purchase of Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings, which manages Grande and Bieber, and owns the record company, Big Machine Label Group, that is home to Rascal Flatts, Sheryl Crow, and Tim McGraw. The deal, which closes May 7th, will bring Braun's shares valued more than $103 million plus an undisclosed amount of cash. It's the second big payout in just five months for the impresario, who recouped the cost of buying Big Machine by selling its ownership of Taylor Swift's master records last fall, triggering a bitter public feud with the singer. Before Hybe went public, the company awarded each member Jin, Suga, J-Hope, RM, Jimin, V, and Jungkook 68,385 shares, stakes valued at about $8 million at the time. BTS, who regularly dominate charts worldwide and had the sixth highest grossing tour in 2019, ranked number 47 on Forbes' Celebrity 100 list in 2020 with $50 million in pre-tax earnings, bringing the total earned since 2019 to $107 million. Each member's stake is now valued at about $15.3 million. Grande's longtime partnership with Braun has paid off big. The 27-year-old pop star will receive 53,557 shares worth $12 million. Grande, who has the highest streaming numbers so far in 2021 of Braun's clients, got one of the two biggest artist payouts from Hybe. The company, which is trying to diversify its revenue beyond BTS, has a reason to keep her happy. Grande was the highest paid female musician on Forbes' Celebrity 100 list in 2020, snagging the number 17 spot with $72 million in pre-tax earnings. Braun famously discovered Bieber on YouTube in 2008. Since then, the 27-year-old pop star has had eight number one albums. 
He ranked number 13 on Forbes' Celebrity 100 list last year with pre-tax earnings of $83.5 million. Bieber is getting the same plum payout from HYBE as Grande, with 53,557 shares worth $12 million.